Hi, hello, this is Esther, your Bangsa South Specialized Agent. So this time edition is into about tenancy move out procedures because most of the time I realize that tenants and the owner have a little bit of uh, misunderstanding or dispute regarding move out and uh, so today we're gonna see what are the steps what need to be done and what is in the tenancy agreement so number one there is four basic things that a tenant must know what they're supposed to do upon a move out the most four basic things number one you need thorough cleaning you need to clean the unit thoroughly before you hand over it to the owner because when you move in owner already have done all these four basic things and give it over to you to stay so upon your move out it is very important for you to do the same four things so number one unit thorough out cleaning is when not while you're staying there please do not do this mistake if you call a cleaner to clean the house while you're staying there and then you move out your things the unit gonna get dirty Definitely the owner have the rights to say that I'm not satisfied with the cleaning and to do a back the cleaning again and charge you. So what is the best thing that you can do is move out to a new unit, get your agent or the owner to assist you to open the door for your cleaner. Alright, so that is number one. Number two is aircon servicing. Now aircon servicing can be done while you are there because they're going to only service the aircon. By right according to a standard tenancy agreement, every six months once you must do aircon service to ensure that the aircon is maintained well and is good to use. All right. So upon your move out, it is best to do chemical service accordingly if it needs. If not, it's a normal service. But for those who don't do servicing for their aircon for one year or two year plus, then it is advisable for them to do a chemical servicing so that the owner won't have issues with the aircon later on because most of the aircon if you don't maintain it properly it has copper coil issues it has outdoor servicing issues so what is the proper thing find a professional a professional aircon cleaner who does the servicing a legit person please do not hire someone that is not professional who just do a simple washing on the aircon yeah because it's very important all right now number three is curtain laundries also same whatever service provider that you're hiring it should be a professional one it should be a good cleaner a good aircon service person a good aircon i mean a curtain person because the person need to deinstall the curtains it might be very expensive most of the time for investment units must will be a very expensive curtains sheer curtains and day curtains you know night curtains so you hire a professional curtain cleaner where they will come they will take up the curtains they will go and clean it wash it dry wash or what and then they will come and hang back the curtain so it is very important for you to do curtain cleaning upon a more now when you can do this if you ask me Curtain cleaning usually you can even do it on the last week of your stay or also send it for laundry after your move out after the cleaning is done the person can come in and hang back the curtain so that is the best way you can do to ensure that everything is clean spotless upon your move out all right now number four the most important one mattress sofa deep cleaning mattress sofa deep cleaning is very very important advisable for every unit of rental investment why because you have used it and the new person want to use it it's best to do the deep cleaning owner have already done it and then will hand over to the new tenant now when this tenant is moving on they are supposed to do that and hand it over back to the owner so always hire a right professional right person to do the sofa and the mattress cleaning produce all the receipt now these are the four basic important things that the tenant must do before the handover so usually for owners what are the other bills that they must see through according to the agreement after these four things and the receipts that have been submitted usually get your agents to do a move out statement a proper move out statement compiled with all the receipt is needed it means receipt in, uh, uh, including of your electricity bill water bill also in the water sewage bill is very important so in the water bill must be attached together with it so some tenants they overlook on it and they don't pay it but it's okay never mind that is why you have utility deposit to cover it so the best is to get it uh, deducted from the deposit uh, if they don't pay the utility bill now these are the other three things that you add in what are the other better damages that you can see in a unit all right number one the walls if the owner have given the unit in a proper painted condition clean and upon the usage there are stains that is caused by the tenant then it is without no doubt according to standard tenancy agreement the tenant need to bear the cost for the wall stains so tenants please do remember if you are staying in a unit you're not only responsible to pay the rental of the unit but you're also responsible to take care and maintain the unit so if you can be careful like your own house try to not stain the walls if you have seen the stains maybe you can get someone to paint it or touch up accordingly so that the unit is refurbished well so if you left the unit with wall stains owner have all the rights to hire someone specialized to paint the walls and charge the cost on you so please do remember that that it is a part of a tenancy procedure now number two 
All right, number two, uh, wall painting. The number two is uh, bad tear damages such as lights, water beaded, uh, the leakage in the pipe sink and all. Some tenants will just leave when the beaded is having leakage. They think it's not a big matter at all. But when another new tenant comes, they definitely want everything in a proper condition. Even you yourself would want it in a normal, a proper condition. So if there is a bad tear damage, please do inform the agent who's doing the handover or the owner so that they can replace it. Or if you can do it, you also can do it. Just get someone, a plumber to fix back uh, the, the broken beaded or the broken sink pipe or the lights need to be changed all that can be done as a part of it all right and number three broken things in the unit i have experience in my uh, uh, tenancy experience with uh, tenants there are very good tenants who used to take care of the unit very well you know maintain it and all but i also encountered tenants who who have uh, have uh, torn the sofas have broken the cabinets you know sometimes they will just close the kitchen cabinet or the wardrobe uh, door nicely and they will leave it and when we checking it it will fall off all this have happened but remember that is your responsibility because the owner have invested in buying those furnitures and giving it to you in order to take care of it you must take care of it so there is a logicness into it if there is like a small cut or whatever it's, it's different but i've seen where it will go to an extent where it will be broken it will be torn which is it is your responsibility to replace those things or pay accordingly to the cost that's been been damaged you know so need to buy a new sofa or need to buy a new wardrobe or need to repair that then the owner will put it out that it will be stated in the mod statement all right and kitchen tabletop the next one is kitchen tabletop there are some who have a white kitchen tabletop and it will have stains that cannot be removed so only need to polish it again and it will be charged on the tenant so these are the things where most of the tenant feels oh no that is not my mistake but the thing is it was given to you clean so it is expected to be returned back in some manner same manner so there is stains and so on or it is not maintained well then definitely owner have all the rights to, to, to charge you on this. So as a tenant, we believe uh, agents professionally, we will advise you that uh, do look into the unit, maintain the unit, and also uh, uh, make sure that if there is something damaged, repair it. And, and when you give back in a proper condition, definitely the deposit money will be refunded back in full term. But if there is something need to be deducted, then do understand that it is not by the, uh, I mean, a purposed or willingly the owner have done that. It is because that, you know, you should supposed to take care of it. So when there is a mistake there, definitely they have no choice to replace and do so on. What is the pros and cons that I have met in my experience in this? Most of the landlord, they feel that, uh, you know, the tenant will be very uh, rude or they will not agree to it and so on. And some tenants will go to the extent that saying that I want to report on this or I want to lodge a, a complaint or a claim and so on. But the initial part is I will tell the tenant if it is proven by pictures and videos that it was given to you in a proper manner and it was not written back in the same manner, then even though you do a claim and so on, justice still will be served properly because as, as owners, they also invest and they expect to give a thing and return back properly. So if as a tenant, you have questions of what are the things can be deducted from the deposit? What are things that cannot be deducted from the deposit? There are things that cannot be deducted from the tenant's deposit. So there are things um, where I will advise to the landlords and also agents, make sure your tenancy agreement has a page called maintenance schedule checklist so that the tenant and the owner both will know what are their parts to do and what they're supposed to do and what they're supposed not supposed to do. So it will be easier for both the tenant and the landlord. So for more info, keep on following me and I will be keep on sharing my knowledge and whatever that is based on my experience to advise accordingly what I can do according to the experience and the agreements and the clauses and all. So catch up soon with me for more info. Take care. Bye-bye.